little plunger to be able to feather in that clutch, feel that bit of intuitiveness that you know you're starting to get to the biting point. So before it will probably bite and kick in about here. Trial and error today. It starts to go to the biting point. Now I'm going to move it to about this position before but I can lift that clutch just a little bit higher. Let's move on because it's time to move on. I must admit I drive this car and I think pretty much every day and it's not that I'm a bad driver well I like to think I'm a good driver pretty much every day I bloody stall it. Oh balls. So luckily you can just press the start button and away you go. But I noticed when I got the car almost straight away I thought to myself this clutch pedal feels really like you've got to push it all the way to the floor. I mean normally you've got to start to lift the pedal and you've got that bit of feel, that bit of intuitiveness that you know you're starting to get to the biting point. And I think it's just down to the fact that it just takes me by surprise. I've got to lift the clutch and I expect it just to have a little couple of inches more travel and then bang I go and stall it. So I had to remove the clutch pedal slightly to the side to get the little heater wheel out. I had a problem with it when I first bought the car. And I noticed that there's this little adjustment screw. Now, if you're lucky enough to drive the car and it's a left-hand drive car, then you would never know because you don't have to move the pedals out of the way because you can access it from the your passenger side without having to remove any pedals. But nevertheless, I had to remove the pedal. That's when I saw this little adjustment screw. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna to attempt to adjust to a little plunger, which I notice when I have to take the bracket off for the clutch, um, this plunger has a threaded nut and it looks like you can adjust it. Trial and error today is I'm going to adjust this little screw and see if I can get it so that when I lift the foot off the clutch, basically I just want it so that I can lift that clutch just a little bit higher. It doesn't engage quite as low down. So let's give it a go, see what I can do. Okie dokie, so I'm just going to loosen this top nut. Like this. There we go. So what I'm looking for is to get that plunger further up towards the steering wheel in that direction so that I have to lift the clutch up further. And what that would do hopefully means that I'm not going to stall it as much. That's the plan anyway. So I know where that is at the moment. I'm going to count the number of turns so I don't muck it up. Let's go one, two, three. Four, five. I'm going to go to about there. It's not a nut on the other side. It's a threaded nut, but the nut is actually welded to the um, bracket here. So that now means that the clutch has to be higher up. It would engage when I raise my foot higher. So I'm going to go with that. It's all a bit of trial and error. Take it for a drive. See how we get on. So you know what? That, that, that is definitely better. There's definitely a slightly longer travel now to my pedal. I'm finding that I have to bring my foot up just that little bit more. In fact, I'm going to turn that just a little bit more. I want just a little bit more travel, um, but it's certainly better. It really is. It, it, it feels so much more like it, it should have been when I bought the car. Um, yeah. I can feel my feet now. It's got more ability to be able to feather in that clutch so I can get that biting point. All right, so what I've done here, here's that little locking nut I'm talking about. And to give you an idea, I've probably turned the main body of it about the height of the nut, which is seven mil or around about quarter of an inch. So the plunger now, as you move this clutch up, here's the plunger. Basically, it's further away. It's more towards the steering column. And what that does inadvertently, it just means you've got to raise the clutch up to a slightly higher position. So before, it would probably bite and kick in about here. Now, I'm going to move it to about this position before it starts to go to the biting point. So I'm going to lock it in that position and just give it a little tighten up. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. So yeah, definitely give that a go. Without a doubt, it feels so much more like it should have been to start with. I can't believe literally just a few turns and it's made all the difference, it really has. So 
if you get problems that you're finding the clutch just doesn't quite feel right, that you're pushing your foot too far down for it to disengage and engage, try adjusting that screw. It does make a difference.